Owners are upset tonight with Governor Doug Ducey's latest executive order saying they weren't given advance notice that they would have to close once again. Some local gyms already disobeying the new ordinance that went into effect last night at 8 o'clock. Our News 11's Carmen Valencia brings us the story. Some gyms I reached out to say they're staying open despite the executive order. However, owners with the Stronger Together family say they don't want any trouble, but feel disappointed with state leaders. Members in the fitness community in Yuma are once again left in limbo after Governor Ducey ordered gym owners to close their doors for the second time since the pandemic began. We've been playing guessing games with the government as far as what they want us to the Stronger Together family disheartened after hearing the news. Imagine you weren't able to support your family for 30 days and you didn't have the money and income to pay your bills. It becomes frustrating when they give you three hours notice. Both say they were just beginning to bounce back, regrouping from the first closure. We've actually expanded into the suite next door, which we take uh, rent of or lease of tomorrow. We signed the paperwork today. So the fact that we got the news yesterday saying, hey, your facility and we had actually gone above and beyond what the government was asking as far as social distancing so that we could allow for more spacing in between people. And it puts them back at square one, offering Zoom workout classes while they wait for at least another 30 days before they try it again. I reached out to other gyms, including the Complex and 4th Avenue Gym in Yuma and in the Foothills. As of Tuesday morning, both facilities were still open for business. We have yet to hear back from either gyms. Authorities have told News 11 that no business has been cited. But if they are cited, it's ultimately up to a judge to decide. The Yuma Police Department saying they will first educate before taking any other measures. Reporting in Yuma, Carmen Valencia, News 11. As for the Yuma County Sheriff's